Today, we will be needle felting. I hate needles. And whichever one of them has the best piece after five hours wins up to five grand for a random subscriber. Yeah! First, you will be grabbing supplies. You have 30, 29, oh, God. 28. What? Just gonna grab everything. What? 17. What? Be patient, Zachary. Mackenzie chose this video idea, and that kind of sucks. I picked out this topic, and I'm glad that I did. I don't expect to do good at all. Excuse me. Three, two. One, this is for the fans that want our dyed hair back. Yeah! I've needle felted once before. It took a very long time, so I'm gonna try not to go too big so I don't run into the problem of not being able to finish my project, which is what Jake normally does. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, come on. I'll get back to you guys. You know what, I'm gonna be spontaneous and I'm gonna say today we're gonna be extra creative. If you've done something before on crafts, you can't do it again. For those of you guys that wanna rewatch all our videos to make sure nobody cheated, uh, go for it. I really wanna do a whale and I'm very excited about it. I'm making this adorable, cute little yeah. chipmunk. Uh, I'm so excited. Uh, I can't even see I've never done needle felting and honestly, I'm not excited for this challenge. Mackenzie, I have one question. Is the chipmunk gonna have nuts in his head? Huh? Yeah. Jake, what are you doing? I'm gonna make a worm alien creature, which is ironic because I hate worms, but you know, it is what it is. Ben, what are you making? Platypus. Vinny, you haven't been on a lot of crafts videos, so if you want, you can just make whatever. I'm gonna make something sussy. We're just gonna blur it. You know what, editor, just, just blur this entire like side right now. It seems like everyone else doesn't know what they're doing, which makes me feel pretty good about myself. Aside from Mackenzie, something a little suspicious going on right over there. You said to stab until something happens. Michelle, yours is working. We have to like start shaping it with your hands to get the shape you want. Hey, Ken, what's the best technique to get it to like bunch together fast? Stab it really fast. Yeah, there you go. See? Oh my. <laughs> Make sure you're stabbing all the way through, not just on the top. Did everyone hear that? Yes. Today's challenge is going to be one of our toughest challenges yet. I feel like Mackenzie has the advantage because she likes to do little crafts like this. And everyone else is kind of just a wild card in this video, so I'm pretty excited to see what happens. I'm going to start over. Are we recording? I feel like it's time for a challenge. Yes. So this challenge is simple. You have three minutes to needle felt a cube. Whoever has the best cube wins something. Go! I can't even make a normal shape. How am I supposed to make a cube? All right, editor, play some intense, suspenseful music because we're, we're, we're trying to make this look intense, I guess. Apparently, if I have my chin up, it makes me look more professional. Wow. Vinny, you actually kind of have a square there. I think I got the technique down, man. You guys have around 30 seconds left? Like, what are you doing? This square might be a little bloody. Owie! Guys, always wear protection. Five, four, three, two, one. Everyone stop, let me take a look. All right, not bad. Uh, not bad, Michelle, you don't quite have the corners down. I think my cube was pretty good. What? What is that? This is Jake's cube. Okay, I see where you were going with it. It looks a little rough. This is, what the? This is actually really good. Him? I don't know how I did it. Maybe I'll knit when I'm retired. Mackenzie, even though yours was nice, in this case, size does matter. I like the big one. My cube should have won. It was clearly the best. Since it was bigger, but that doesn't mean that it was better. Vinny, here's your advantage. You can choose anyone to help you for 20 minutes. Mackenzie. No. All right, Mackenzie, bring your chair over. You're helping Vinny for 20 minutes. What do you want me to do? I just want like a fluffy dog. Because <laughs> I was going to like stick it in like this and have the hair being flowy around. And that's going to be hard to do. If a cube has a side of 28, what's the surface? Area. 28 cube, so then it would be 784 times 6, which would be 4704. And that's why she's the human calculator. Oh, no. You're screwed. <laughs> you say that, that's usually when I'm not screwed. Everyone keeps saying that I'm acting wow. psycho today and I honestly feel a little bit more amped up than usual. And you're done because guess what? I'm not listening to a <laughs> word you're saying. It's because I literally have a circle. Look at this. <laughs> I'm actually very, very happy about my piece right now. It's coming along. It looks like a whale. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, I'm done? Yeah. See ya. Nice. This is what Mackenzie did. Looks like a skunk spot. Thanks for nothing. Everyone, I also have good news and bad news. Bad news first. So bad news is that there's a losing punishment. If you don't win, you belly flop in the pool. Now for the good news, if you win this challenge, I'll give you 500 bucks. Yes! Woo. The needle felting is definitely very hard. I've never done it before, but I'm doing pretty well. The whale looks so cute. 
and I'm almost done with it. So I have this ball here. I'm going to start adding this green and felting it on. It should just add a layer of green. Wait, yours looks really good. I fixed the shape. Oh, that looks cute. Um... Zach, you never have anything nice to say about my projects. Yeah, I do. Sometimes I say it's not bad. All right, we have our second challenge. I will warn you guys before we do this that the prize I'm gonna give out is gonna be pivotal. Ah, yeah. I will give each of you five minutes to make my character out of wool. Do you guys want to know what happens if you win? Yeah! You will get to choose two people and do a switcheroo. What? All right, so you better win this now. I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. Yo, Vinny's is looking decent over here. So I spent a lot of time at the nursing homes. Okay, Michelle, I see it a little bit. Mackenzie's looks like a teal Pac-Man. What is happening? You have one minute. What? Extend it, extend it, extend the time. I literally don't even know what Jake's doing. Jake, <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stop what you're doing. Mackenzie's doesn't look too bad. Whoa, Michelle. Michelle's actually has a lot of detail. <laughs> Jake, let me see it. Come on, Jake. This is what you did. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mine's going. <laughs> Ben's speech has had an allergic reaction. Mine is an happy pass. Still better than Jake's. Vinny, let me see. <laughs> For some reason, it looked nice, and then it got worse and worse. Uh, you don't like that? I think I'm gonna have to give this one to Michelle. Let's go! Yeah! Losing the first challenge, that's okay. Losing two in a row, not just losing, coming in last place, that's just embarrassing. Not on my game today. For your advantage, you can switch any two pieces. You can switch yours with someone else. You can switch someone else's with someone else. It's up to you. I really hope Michelle doesn't pick me because I'm really proud of my piece right now, and I don't want to see it in someone else's hands. I knew exactly who to target, because Zach kept complimenting it throughout the video. Actually, I might choose the dog. I was doing so good on it. Do you like this piece, or do you like yours more? I don't care. I think it'd be really funny if we switched it. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> Oh. Okay, then you take this one! <laughs> what even is this? It's like a sushi roll. I'm very happy because it seems like nobody likes my piece anyway. I don't care if I win because I don't think I will. I think I would have, but someone took my dog. If I beat Michelle with her own piece, that's a win in and of itself. I'm extremely happy that Michelle didn't choose me to switch because I actually like what I'm making at the moment. It looks really bad on camera. Oh, God. I haven't really looked at anyone else's piece yet, but I do think that my piece is turning out pretty good. It kind of looks like a little piece of sashimi, so I'm just going to make a little sushi plate, and maybe I can make more next to it. Look how cute the eyes are! Oh, that is really cute. Vinny, look at Michelle's piece and take notes, okay? Bruh. With that being said, for our third challenge, we'll be doing wool painting. Wait, what? what? So each one of you guys will do a wool painting on this. We'll see who wins and loses. You know what? Make a scenery. Yeah, five minutes. Go. Scenery? What are you working on? I am making a green landscape. Something just snapped. Bro, Vinny's looks good again. Said that last time, Zach. Jake usually wins the mini challenges, but he's been slacking today. Less than a minute left. Oh my god, my Ooh, shoulders are hurting so bad. Three, two, one. All right, stop what you're doing. It kind of reminds me of the Dr. Seuss stuff where everything is like really Oh my, what is that? <laughs> Green landscape, blue sky, some mountains, and then an orange tree coming over the sun peaking. We have some water and some mountains. Simple. You gotta admit, today your little mini challenges have been the last in every single one. Michelle, let's see yours. I did mountains and a tree. I did an ombre sun. These are some bird silhouettes. Vinny, can I take one more look at yours? Okay, I think for scenery, Vinny's got this one. Hey! I'm 0-3 in the mini challenges, but you know, my piece doesn't actually look that bad, so at least I got that going for me. Wish I would've won the last one, because now I'm stuck with this. So Vinny, since you won, if you guess who's coming in first, you win 100 bucks. Guess who's coming in last, you also get 100 bucks. You get both of them right, you get 500. Can I take a look? Sure. <laughs> That looks good. Let's we'll see what you got. What do you think? Mm -mm. Yeah, that's first place right there. Okay. Right? And who do you think is coming in last? You think your own pizza is coming in last? It seems like Vinny has this decision for last. All right, Vinny, so if you get either one right, you get 100 bucks. And if you get both right, you get 500. Vince picked me to win, so I'm feeling really good because he obviously thinks my piece is very good. So we haven't announced how the scoring system is going to change yet. So wait for that. Vinny, we'll start with you. Zero crafts wins. Ben, you have 11 crafts wins. Jake, you have 14 wins. Michelle, eight wins. And Mackenzie, 17 wins. You are still our official crafts queen, but if Jake wins a couple more, we are going to have our first crafts king. 
<laughs> All right, so I've been looking around at everyone's pieces and not gonna lie, but I feel like any of you five could honestly win this challenge. Mackenzie has a lot of detail. Why are you stabbing it in the butt? The butt's right here. Don't you see the crack? Michelle's looks really cute. I feel like fans would like it. Jake's has a ton of detail and Vinny's looks Bro. Cool. What, Ben? Mine's iconic. Finished a little early, so I'm gonna take over Jake's spot and help Bean. Michelle's way too nice. Yeah. It's only four minutes left. <laughs> We have about 10 minutes left. I think it looks really good. There's a few minutes left. And I finished my dog. Look at how cute the bow is. Woof, 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 woof. After seeing Kenzie's, I think I'm just done. But if I do lose, I think it's Michelle's fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had to get everyone's attention. We're done. Wait, I'm, I'm not quite, I'm not quite done. After five hours, we are ready to move into the drugging stages. Mackenzie, let's start off with you. I have a little chipmunk and she has a little acorn. Very, very cute. I really like the detail. I like the little like slivers of browns and stuff. Overall, very well executed. Lots of detail, which I very like. Thank you. All right, Michelle. So this is a collaboration piece. With me and Vince. It's a dog. Michelle, I think it looks really nice. I think you should have done a different color for the bow. Still very cute, Michelle. Good job, Michelle. This is Dirty Rapscallion. He is a very wise thing, but he rides a motorcycle. When he rides his motorcycle, <laughs> his hair goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> very creative, Jake. Very creative. All right, Ben. This is my very original platypus. I never would have thought a platypus would be blue and orange, but very original. I don't think there's anything like that out there. <laughs> That's it. Okay, Vinny, why don't you tell me about yours? Well, Michelle took my piece and then gave me this whale. I put it in the front as a little showpiece. And my goal is not to win, but as long as I beat Michelle with her own piece, that's a win for me. We know where his priorities are at. My girlfriend, apparently. Here's how this is gonna work. We are gonna play Sudden Death. I have hardboard pieces. Two of them have smiley faces on it. If you draw the smiley face, you go head to head in an elimination. Oh. Pick one, mm. Jake. Don't look at it yet. There's only one left. Who has a smiley face? No! no! Look at you. you so know cool and collected. For our first sudden death round, we have a special guest judging. It is going to be our editor. Nicolo, if you choose this dog, I'll give you a raise. You can choose this because it looks like you. What? Did say that from yeah, it looks like Nicolo. Just kidding. I can't, I can't promise you a raise. I'm sorry. Michelle and Ben, my editor has made his decision. Michelle, you won! For those of you guys that are still in, go ahead and choose. Just grab it. Who has a smiley face? <gasps> Look who else has it. Exactly what I want. Why can't I just go to the finals? Michelle and Vinny, I asked a random subscriber which piece they liked best. Come on, let me win. The subscriber oh. has decided. No. Vinny, congratulate Michelle. <laughs> Vinny, I thought yours was really cute, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. Join the club. All right, Jake, reach behind you. Oh, oh gosh, so bad at choosing. Ah. All right, who has the smiley faces? No! Michelle, you got another smiley face? Yeah. Michelle, if you make it past this round, you're literally gonna be competing against every single person here. Please win. <laughs> that dog looks like it has breathing problems. <laughs> All right, down, we have a very important guest. Hi, Mom. Uh, are you? Free to judge some art? Sure, why not? Hi, Debbie, I love you. Hi, Debbie, I hear you. I love you. Mom, so I'm gonna send you two images and I want you to tell me which one you like better. Oh, that's so cute! Wow! <laughs> This is needle felting art. If you guys didn't know, my mom does a lot of crafts too. I go with the one that makes my heart tickle. I go with the green one. Oh! Oh! Thanks, Mom, that, uh, that one was Jake's. Thank you! Jake's art, so <gasps> no wonder. Yes, thank you! All right, well, thanks, Mom. That was a pretty crazy round, but for the final round, we have Jake and Mackenzie, and there is one parent who we have not called yet. The last time Ben's dad judged, I got out first, even though he said mine was the best. Hey, Ben's dad. I have a very important question for you today. I sent you two images, and I need you to tell me which one you like more. Goatee. These are both pretty good. Do you have a favorite one? The squirrel seems more goody two shoes. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yes, the squirrel. All right, Mackenzie, you win! Yeah! Right, thank you, Greg. Bye, Dad. Mackenzie, you win the challenge! Yay! Do you have a message to Ben's dad? Because I know you don't like his judging. Thank you, Ben's dad. Last time, you kind of screwed me over.
I made a big mistake and bought one million magnets. We have five artists and one million magnets. Each one of you will make a piece of art using the magnets. The winner will get a shout out on YouTube. I'll make it my mission to get you to 100,000. It needs to be the best one. The other four will get pushed into an ice cold pool. You have five hours. Go. If you do win this, you might just have 100,000 YouTube subscribers. My whole channel would just be of magnets. Jess, what would your first video be? Going and meeting someone random and customizing their sneakers. Michelle, you already have over 100,000 YouTube subscribers. Why do you want to win? To get more subscribers. I'm going to make an Eiffel Tower. If you do win 100,000 subscribers, what are you going to do? The first thing I would do is make a YouTube channel. What are you going to make? I'm going to make a Mickey Mouse. Viv, if you did win 100,000 subscribers from this video, what would you do with it? I'll let my hey. subscribers choose what video I will make. You guys get to choose. <laughs> no, you don't get to choose unless Viv wins. Viv, have you ever won a crafts challenge before? Never? Never. If I win this time, it would be my first. Jake, you won one so far, which was the one we did with Mr. Beast. So if you do win this, this will be your second dub. Yes. Michelle, you have won one crafts challenge. So this will also be your second dub if yes. you do win this one. Jazz, you won two crafts challenges so far. So if you win this one, you'll win more than all of them combined. Take the dub. Mackenzie, you have also won two challenges so far, so this could be your third victory. I plan on it being. Mackenzie, just so you know, you've won two already. Viv literally hasn't won a single one. <laughs> Let's check on them in like an hour. Jazz, what's the goal? I'm gonna make the little baby Yoda, the Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I was a little bored and I did this. This is a metal plate covered with 50,000 magnets and it is extremely hard to get this off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time each one of them, see who removes it the fastest and that person will get an advantage in this competition. All right, Viv, three, two, one, go. Next. Viv removed it in 10 seconds flat. Ready, go. What the? 21 seconds, go. Whoa! All right, Jess just did it in five seconds. Ready, go. 2.8 seconds, go. All right, six seconds, which means, Jake, you're the winner. This is your prize. You're gonna be able to toss this, whoever's piece of art you want. You can split it up, you can do it all in one go. Thank you, Zach. All right. I'm gonna throw this at the show. Oh! oh! Jake, you gotta choose one person and make them sculpt with only one hand for the next 30 minutes. Jazz. Jazz, put one hand behind your back right now. It's gotta stay like that for 30 minutes. All right, everyone, continue. I made a magnetic glizzy. What is that? Is that Gary's water bowl? Food bowl. He's, Food bowl. He's eating his like kelp or whatever he eats. What are you making now? A lion. I'm gonna sculpt that's favorite three things. A bowl of ramen, toilet bowl, and Lisa. You trying to ice out Yoda? Yeah. Yoda iced out. I'm I'm actually getting pretty hungry making this bowl of ramen. The puppy, I think, is a little not in scale. Ooh, is that an elephant? It looks pretty cool so far. Whoa, Baby Yoda has a necklace and a lightsaber. Michelle, what are you making? <laughs> bowl of noodles, like a boot? It's a toilet. Oh, it's a toilet. What? I kind of like it. Working on a snake right now. Cool. Japanese salamander. Whoa. Snowman. Whoa. Gary. Whoa. Gary's food bowl. Kirby. <laughs> Pizza slice. And Viv, what do you have here? It's Mickey and Minnie and Minnie Pluto. I really, really like the sculptures, but everything's about to change. Each one of you will get a giant ball of magnets. You can use it to kind of mess around with everyone else's. Ready to catch it! Oh! Oh <laughs> Baby Yoda! No! <laughs> oh. Jake, you're up next. Oh. All right, Michelle. Oh. Yes! Jazz, here you go. Oh. <laughs> now that's bad. All right, Mackenzie, catch. No! Oh. Mackenzie low-key missed. All right, everyone, you have two hours left. So Viv ended my baby Yoda's life. This is how we live in now. My little baby. Right now, I'm working on an alligator. At first, it's kind of looking like a scary pig. I just converted my standing Yoda into a sitting baby Yoda. And now I'm writing Yoda loves Blackpink. I made a big Ben, a clock tower. I fixed all of my pieces that were destroyed.
So we are about to do another challenge. This time the loser gets a super powerful magnet in their sculpture. This was the strongest magnet I could find on the entire internet. It has around 300 pounds of pulling force. Roll the clip. It's actually pretty insane. Let's see who gets this in their sculpture. Artists, listen up, we have another challenge. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the longest chain possible in 30 seconds. The loser gets an awful loser punishment, so. Three, two, one, go! Trust me, the punishment is absolutely terrifying. 20 seconds left. At the end, you need to hold it up. Three, two, one, stop! Everyone hold your longest one up. Mackenzie, it looks like yours is the shortest one. Jazz, Jake, in your opinion, which one's better, the crocodile or the elephant? I choose the lion. Mackenzie, this is one of the strongest magnets we could find on the entire internet. Three, two, one. Do you want to try to get it out, Mackenzie? Zach, I can't get it out! <laughs> Mackenzie, real quick. <laughs> Was this your favorite one? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Everyone, don't feel left out. Mackenzie's not the only one that's gonna be getting this strong magnet. I am thinking of a number from one through five. You guess my number, you get this in your sculpture. Everyone close your eyes. The number is... Everyone open up your eyes, choose a number. Three. Two. The number was five. Are you ready, Jazz? I'm sorry, baby Yoda. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, Jazz, now you have to take the magnet out. <laughs> oh, no! It's taking everything with it. <laughs> oh. All right, everyone keep building. Three, two, one. Time is up. Now, before we do the judging, Mackenzie, you were the winner of the last ZHC Crafts Challenge. And being a winner of the Crafts video comes with its perks. Not only did you win your prize, you also get to choose where this <laughs> magnet goes. You can literally put it anywhere because you won the last video. Okay, now. Gary. Oh, no. Gary, Gary the Globster. Alright, Jake, take the magnet out of Gary. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's just no way around it. I can't do anything else. This is the only way. All you're missing out on is possibly a hundred thousand YouTube subscribers and more. Now that time is up, we're gonna take a look at everyone's sculptures. We're gonna start with Mackenzie. What do you have for us? A lion, an alligator, and a elephant. I made a baby Yoda who is iced out from his chain and his little tennis bracelet. Yoda loves black pink. I made a bowl of ramen. Big Ben, Paris with Zach, me, <laughs> and Lisa from black pink. Snowman, Japanese giant salamander, Ooh. teddy bear. So, if you can't tell, this is Mickey and then this is Minnie and then this is Minnie Pluto. Only one person will win. And everyone else has to jump in the pool. First person that will be jumping Jumping in the pool is Michelle. It does look very nice, but not nice enough. Next person that needs to jump in the pool is Viv. The next person jumping in the pool is Jazz, Mackenzie, and Jake. I'm gonna leave it up to your peers. Jazz, Mackenzie, or Jake? I'm gonna go ahead and pick Mackenzie. Viv. I still love you. <laughs> Mackenzie, I pick you. Michelle, your opinion doesn't matter anymore. It's Mackenzie, you won again. Mackenzie, after this video, you're gonna make a YouTube account. The YouTube is gonna be right here. Subscribe to Mackenzie because she wanted. Get her to 100,000 subscribers. What's gonna be really interesting is for your first YouTube video, I'll give you 500 to give to a random person that subscribes to you. So subscribe to her, you could win money. And I'll give you an extra 500 to give to any charity you want. And we'll link it down below too, so click it, subscribe. Now it's time for the punishments. So even though Mackenzie won, Viv really didn't wanna jump in the pool, so Mackenzie said she'd jump in the pool for her. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a small chance at redemption. The best dive will receive a mini shout out. Michelle, go. Oh my God, it's so cool. Wait, the what? We have six artists and a ton of phone cases. You guys will have two hours to make a mural going across five phone cases. Best one wins up to five grand for their biggest fan. I'm my own biggest Everyone, fan. Look up at the timer. Apparently, if you squawk at it, the time starts. Squawk. Oh, it started. There we go. Today will be a very emotional day. That already made me cry today. I'm gonna do a cool robot in space. We're done with space. Space is so overused, don't do it. I'm Everybody. doing a space mural. And whoever my biggest fan is, I'm gonna win this challenge for you. I'm not really sure what to do. We only have two hours, which is not a lot of time, especially for five phone cases. Itchy. I'm ready for anything. I have to pee. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I can see that. 
I think I'm gonna make an arcane inspired mural. And I think it'd be really fun to make. <laughs> I think I have an idea. You ever see that show Avatar? No. I will just spray paint it all white and then figure it out from there. We're spray painting. With the spray paint, you're able to get a good base color down and then you can just paint on top of it. Michelle, you're leaking on mine. Sorry. No. Got some pink on the middle one. I am doing Alice in Wonderland characters. Oh, I might want to do like a gradient of spray paint, but I'm not sure. I think I'd rather keep it white background so I can mess around more. I think I'm going to do another Christmas themed character. Can't just take up the whole table. Yes, I can. I'm going to do a galaxy with space cats. Each going to be a different element. So we're going to have a fire cat, water cat, electricity cat. I can see your nipple. What the dog doing? We have an hour and 34 minutes left. I'm gonna start on the hero case. My cases are ready to go. Speed through this, hopefully, and then rush through the next four. This is the fastest I've ever had a draw for anything. I don't feel great at all. Everyone, follow me outside. <laughs> for this challenge, you will each get three case coup boxes. There are a ton of circles with numbers in them. If you throw it in the circle, you get that many amount of points. And it just has to touch outside of the circle if you want the points. Whoever has the highest points gets an advantage. Ooh. All right, go, Michelle. I think the smartest one to go to is for the 25. Oh, 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 you got five. Oh, oh wait, yeah. I'm stupid. There's a hundred in there. The, the hundred? Oh, oh my god, the hundred. Oh that is another zero. <laughs> Michelle, you have five points. What? Ah! All right, who's next? What? Give me those. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh you Oh my god. No way. Should I just go for the hundred? Oh. oh. No! <laughs> All right, Mackenzie, you're up. That is zero. Oh. No! That is also oh. zero! Oh. Wait! Oh. Whoa! Come on! Is that touching? It, it did touch the side! Let's go! I say oh. knock it out. 25 for Ben. But Ben already has 25. Go, go, go! You got it! No! Oh. No, it's too much. No! 25 is the number to beat. Oh! Oh my god, you got it. Oh! Alright, Ben, come over here. Hey, everyone, go back in. You barely touched the corner of the 25. Oh. Which means you won, though. Let's go. You get to go around to every single person and eliminate one color. One color oh, per person. Oh, no! Why do I have to be this person? Okay. I'm so sorry, everybody. Why are you next to me, Ben? Yeah, they did art over there, too. You can check it out. So Nick, you can't use red anymore. Ooh. That's all Michael's all I'm using, Ben. Vinny? This is not, this is not. <laughs> Whatever this color is, you can't use it. Oh. Ken's skin color, beige. Hi. You're going to be nice to me, right? I'm not using purple. I'm Michelle can't use purple. Ben, don't attack me. Come on. You can't use green. OK, thanks. No freaking red. Literally, all my art is red. Ben took away skin color. Thankfully, I finished painting my only face that I what the? I can't speak today. speak English at all? I am just not OK today. This is really hard. Everyone, we have a little twist. Oh, oh, no. The winner of this video will actually get to design a phone case with me to put on Case Coup's site, and 50% of profits will go to charity. Oh. oh! You gotta put your art out there, and we gotta do something nice for charity. I'm not really feeling creative today. Today is not the best day. No, all you really have to do is just take a breather. <laughs> I'm trying to just focus on one case. I want this to be my hero case, and then if I run out of time in the last like five minutes, I'm just gonna literally just put stars on these phones. Do I think I'm gonna win? I felt pretty good every time I've been here. So if that means history uh, repeats itself. Painting's like, uh, you know, I pick it up on the lingo here. This is my medium. Isn't this my best medium? Nope. I think today everyone is a little Stressed. I'm not stressed. I'm I love it here. I'm having fun. We're I'm, having fun. I think I'm everyone so here fun. has been a little aggressive. Sacrifice Michelle. Stop. Stop. You made Michelle cry. I didn't mean to. Right, we're gonna put that in. Let's all give Michelle a dry hug. Wait, don't get paint on yourself. Oh. <laughs> Me and Michelle don't get along the best, but at least I'm not trying to kill her. Play back to the time when you tried to kill me with the scissor left. <laughs> Oh. The unique magic stand cases use an invisible smooth holder for a more beautiful appearance. The transparent backplane is made by materials exclusively developed by Case Coup, which is extremely durable and resistant to yellowing. Oh, I hate it when it yellows. Hey, Mackenzie, guess what? what? The magic stand is able to perfectly function even after 30,000 uses. Nice. Case Coup's magic stand magnet is seven times stronger than its competitors. Michelle, what's seven times more? Seven more. That's a lot. I'm going to go around and you got to say one thing you like about Case Coup. Oh, the cases are so durable.
terrible. These cases are really easy to customize. So pretty. That you don't have to worry about them yellowing. You can drop it and trust it. It's incredible. And I like Case Coot because they sponsored this video. I'm giving up because there's 34 minutes left, so I'm just gonna finish this phone case and the rest are gonna just be black. I'm kind of forgetting that we should have one Hero phone case because I'm trying to make every phone case decent. And she's gotta go bigger, gotta go home. How ironic, the Hero case is the one that's the least done so far. This is uh, Element Man, Element Lad, Earth Boy, Man of the Element. I'm really good at art. I'm happy you guys have me on the show. So I was looking around and it looks like everyone needs a little bit more time. So everyone, you guys will have two extra hours to work on these phone case murals. What? I'm gonna respray paint these four cases because I decided that I think black would be better and I messed up. This gives me a good excuse to, you know, restart. Scrunchy, scrunchy. He looks plump. He's had a lot to eat during Thanksgiving. His shell got so small. I like it. Oh, you want to help? Which is so nice. Thank you. At least no one looks at the pointers. Basically, people look at it like this. Michelle, you can do so much more to those. Let me see. Let's give fire. Let's add some texture to the cracks. Don't tell Zach, but because I finished an hour and a half early, I am playing Candy Crush. Don't think I really needed the two extra hours. I decided to kind of just go back and clean up my work a little bit. We have another challenge that we're going to do outside, so let's transition into that scene. For this challenge, rules are simple. You will each have five case coup cases and you will be tossing them in your bucket. Whoever gets the most points gets an advantage, least amount of points, disadvantage. And there's a lot of wind right now, so I'm not sure how they're gonna do it. All right, Ben, you're first. Come on! Come. You have one more. That's not even fair! Zero for Ben. Oh, Close. The wind pushed him back. No! Oh, that Relax a little you gotta bit. You got to pull the right. No! Oh, oh, that was so close. The doy. Uh, what? Oh! oh. <laughs> Boom, there it is. Oh. So far, everyone's had zero. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Shoot, can I throw all of these? If you want. Yeah. Oh, 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 you got one in. Yeah. If all of you guys get zero, do all of you guys share the punishment? Yeah! Sudden death, sudden death, sudden death. All right, you guys get to split 100 push-ups. All right, Jake, come in with me and I'll show you your advantage. I hope Jake's advantage is not giving me a punishment because in the pencil art video, Jake and I did make a truce. Maybe I did go back on my word, but we're gonna see if Jake's honorable and see if he doesn't go back on his because we did make a truce this video. You get to make someone restart one phone case. I know who I should attack, but Ben's playing mind games with me right now. Oh, oh this the pace. Zero. Yeah. Up. Zero. Up. Everyone. Zero. Up. Zero. Up. Before we move on, there's a plot twist. I get to make somebody restart on a phone game. Remember, I'm true. I know. Yo, look at Nick. He's like on his knees and elbows already. Please, please, please. I know what I have to choose. I just don't Ten, feel good about it. Nine, Three, two. One! Choose one! Which one is it? Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> wow, this case is so durable! <laughs> ben, this one looks so good! No! It's okay. <laughs> Ben said that we're even now because he broke a truce in the pencil video. I'm feeling pretty good. I think my theme's pretty strong. Ben's was really strong, but it got destroyed. But there's a chance he comes back, so I'm still a little worried. I need a new phone case. Who has black? Give me the black spray, baby. It's okay. I only have 30 minutes left to do that hero case again. You could just do dang. You can shut up. I feel pretty good about my piece. I don't know what else to add in the background. I feel like I need a little bit more, but I'm probably just gonna end up not putting anything. I like my pieces. I think I can get fifth place. Kenzie's looks pretty good. I think Kenzie's gonna win this. I think Vinny is going to get last. You think Vince is gonna get last? Ain't no way. <laughs> Ben, you know how at the beginning of this you said you're painting faster than you've ever painted before? Yeah. You're gonna have to paint even faster because you have 16 minutes. You know in the pencil art video, I took away Jake's blending stump and then he actually ended up making his piece better without the blending stump. This time he just decided to get rid of one of my phone cases. <laughs> Thank you very much. Five, four, three, two, one. Everyone stop what you're doing. How did you do that in 30 <laughs> minutes? <laughs> my hand is cramping. Ben, let's start over here with you. This is my robot space mural. Originally, I was pretty confident up until 30 minutes ago. I see, this is your original one. I feel like it's still turned out pretty decent. It's really not half bad. I really like this dragon over here. I'm trying to win for my biggest fan, so they must like dragons just as much as me. Comment if you're Ben's biggest fan. 
Jake, what do we have here? <clears throat> here we have a continuous phone mural. It was inspired by a show that I watch, and this is a character from that show, Arcane. Uh, her braid goes all around and comes back over here, and then we have some nice neon stuff in the background. And this It's really cool. I, I, I like how you did the face. I feel like it's a very cohesive piece. Thank you. Nice job. All right, Michelle, what do we have here? Um, I did a Christmas theme. A banana in a snow globe, scrunching an ornament, fire in a fireplace, turkey as a snowman, and then my favorite is Bun Bun as Santa. Is this like a washing machine thing? Yeah. Huh? Michelle, your characters have gotten cuter and cuter over the years. Yay! Did Ben help you with this? Yeah. <laughs> no, I guess you weren't that far along, but I do think you've made a lot of progress, which is very cool. Good job, Michelle. Mackenzie, what's going on over here? I did mine in the theme of Alice in Wonderland, Cheshire Cat, the Queen of Hearts, Alice and her little teacups, uh, the White Rabbit, and the Mad Hatter. I think this one's my favorite case. I just like the colors and I like the little face in the circle. Thank you. Very nice. All right, Vinny, what do we have here? We went for something that's not trademarks. So I made a uh, dang. So these are the elements that go around him. He, he bends the breeze. For some reason, I feel like your pieces are a lot less detailed than everyone else's. I like the concept in terms of execution. <laughs> All right, Nick, tell me what's going on here. So I did a uh, Space Cat Galaxy, and it was going to be like red and blue, but I couldn't use red, so I just did blue and pink, and just uh, got Space Cats all around. I actually feel like the, the pink works better than the red. I like how it turned out. I'm sure all your fans are wondering when you're finally going to win a crafts challenge. Right now. Very nice, Nick. Thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone for presenting. Let's let the judging begin. I think Michelle and Vinny might have a really rough time getting by the first few rounds. Yeah, we should do a side wager against me and Michelle. No, thank you. Sounds pretty chicken Michelle, to me. Michelle, how about for the next Crafts video, whichever one of you two wins gets the other person's help for the first 15 minutes of the next Crafts video. All right, fine. Mm. I have a feeling Michelle's gonna get 15 minutes of help. So for today's challenge, we will judge things a little bit differently. I asked a ton of random subscribers to choose their two favorite out of these. They figures as their favorite, you get a point. First to five points wins. Our first subscriber has cast their vote. And the two pieces they chose, Nick. Let's go. And Jake. Yes. So Jake's at one point, Nick's at one point. Our second subscriber has cast their vote. And their vote goes to Michelle. Yeah. And Nick! Yes! So Nick's in the lead with two points! I'm actually really anxious to find out who wins now because it seems like these votes are pretty diverse. The next vote has been casted. This one goes to Ben and Nick! Yes! <laughs> yes! Nick's three for three! Yes! Even a hero case! I mean, yes! what is this? Yes! I need two more. Our fourth subscriber has voted. Nick! Oh, congratulate no Ben because he just got yes. a vote! Oh! You got me too excited. Right, well, there is a second vote. Nick! No! Wait, oh. Say congratulations to Jake. I'm not even mad at Jake anymore. I just want Nick to lose. The next subscriber has voted. This vote goes to Ben. No, no. You're going to say something else. And Nick. No way. Wow. Really? Really? Yep. I just need four more. This can't be happening. Our sixth subscriber just voted. The vote goes to Jake oh. and Ben. No! <laughs> Our next subscriber has voted. Let's just say this is going to be the final one of the team votes. This subscriber voted for Nick and Ben. No way. <laughs> Right now, Nick and Ben are both at five points, so we're gonna do a tiebreaker round. I am going to message one subscriber and tell them to choose between the two. My heart's pounding right now. Michelle, do you wanna click on this person's yeah. message and tell me who they voted for? Oh my God. Ben. Oh! You won this challenge! Let's go! Nick, you were so close to winning your first ever crash we challenge. We almost had it. 